Well, hello, God bless you today. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you are having a fantastic day. I am. Now, listen, I'm here. I'm some, I'm, I'm immersed in maps and oh my, I got my, I got my Bible here. I'm studying the word of God. I just set some things on the floor so it won't show where the desk won't look too cluttered. I probably have the most cluttered desk in Christendom. You know, I see other pastors as they, um, they, they, they broadcast or they tape or they present from their office and everything is so nice and so neat. And I said, Lord, why can't I have uh, a nice, neat desk like that? So I, so I clean it off. And then, you know what, in a day or two, it's right back like it is, uh, like, like, like you see right now. And I straightened it up a little bit for you. And then the Lord kind of let me know, said, listen, uh, people don't follow you for your desk. They follow you for the product that comes from all of the messy papers and the disorganized look. And that is the word of God. And my friends, since I know where everything is, then I guess it's an organized chaos, but it works for me. Oh, I pray that you're doing well today. I'm excited about the word of the Lord. Now, there are so many things that are going on in this day and time that if you would, if I would allow me and if you would allow you, allow it to, to uh, allow it, it would just vex your spirit. I mean, uh, we're, we're in a messed up day and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm just amazed at the silence out there. Uh, I'm just amazed at the silence where uh, the Biden uh, administration has sided with the transgendered. And uh, there are young female athletes who are saying we should not have to compete with men who think that they're women. You know, they've come up with this term biological male, biological female. Uh, that's the only kind of male that there is. It's the only kind of female that there is. God made them male and female. And yet we're in a day where the government has said that a, a transgendered woman is a woman, period. <laughs> Now, how can that be? How can that be? That's a man. And I think I think it is the most cowardice uh, move that a guy can make. You can't compete with the fellas. You can't you can't run with the fellas. You can't box with the fellas. You can't MMA with the fellas. So you want to you want to get you a, a, a shortcut to victory. And what do you do? You claim to be a female. And now you compete with the females and you're, you're, you're screaming to victory. You, you, you outran the females. So you got your hands up, uh, like you've won something. Well, uh, the, the male body physically is stronger and faster than, than the female body. So, hey man, you haven't won anything. It's a disgrace. And I tell you what, I think every preacher, every parent, every mom, every dad, every grand, uh, dad and grandmother, whether you are Democrat, Republican, right or left, Christian or non-Christian, you should cry out against this lunacy that is taking place in our country. The very same people who say, trust the science, trust the science, are the same ones who back such wickedness like this. And uh, we're in a day where depopulationists, depopulationists are the ones who are, <laughs> who are handing out medical device and, <laughs> and medical information to keep you alive. <laughs> You can't be thinking about that. I mean, if a man is a depopulationist, by definition, he thinks that there's too, too many people in the world. Do you think that guy is the one to trust for life-saving advice and, <laughs> and decisions on what you should or shouldn't allow to be uh, put into your body? We see fascism taking place in America as never before. I mean, there's a lot to be uh, discouraged about. I mean, uh, uh, we, we see the merger of, of corporate and government and medical. And uh, we're in a day now where if uh, all beliefs that are contrary to the narrative that they place, that they put out there, these beliefs and ideas now are labeled as misinformation. 
So there can there cannot be another side, any other explanation, any other there can't be any debate on any issue that doesn't fit the narrative. And lastly, in this cancel culture, oh, there are efforts. Do you not know that there are efforts out there to even cancel certain uh, news corporations? There are those who are pushing that the cable networks drop Fox News because Fox News doesn't give uh, the the perspective, doesn't, doesn't speak from the same perspective as some others. What's happening to us? Why not allow, uh, like we've always had, you know, our First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, allow things to be heard in the arena of ideas? Why not allow things to be discussed? Why can't there be uh, conversations and we can talk about things? But no, in this cancel culture today, uh, and the Bible spoke of it, the Bible speaks of a day in Daniel chapter number eight, where truth would be thrown to the ground. We are stymieing and muzzling dissent. And yet with all of these things going on, I am filled with the joy of Jesus because I know that the God of the Bible is in charge and in control. So I'm going to bring this to a close because I've got a lot of studying that I need to get back to. I'm excited about tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I tell you, God has been good to us. He has caused his face to shine upon us. And I want to thank all of you out there who are praying for this ministry. And there's quite a few people praying for us, my friends. I want to thank you for your support. I, I want to thank you for your attendance. Uh, uh, now, we social distance. We do all of the things that we're supposed to do. And God has blessed us. We're in our 40th week back. And I thank the Lord. And yet, more and more people are coming. The attendance is great. God is so good. And many of you who haven't been able to come, thank you for how you support this ministry. You send in your tithe, you send in your offerings, but more importantly, you send up your prayers. I can tell that you're praying for me. I can feel it. Praise God in my bones. I can feel it in my soul. I know that somebody is calling my name uh, uh, before the God of the Bible. You're calling my name. My name is mentioned in heaven quite often because you are sending up prayers. And I thank you. And when you pray, you pray my whole name. Patrick Lane wouldn't. God, senior, God, remember that man, anoint him, protect him, preach him, use him in, in these last days. And my friends, I want you to know that I'm praying for you. Thank you for how you pray for my family. Thank you how you pray for my lovely wife. What an amazing woman of God she is. God's doing great things. And I am so excited. I can't wait till the night. So I'm going to stop right here because uh, Brother Gary, I'm getting fired up. And I feel the power of God uh, moving. It's some, I tell you what it is. And I'm gone. I'm gone. It's something about getting an opportunity to just get lost in the scriptures. To look this up. Look that up. Uh, uh, there are certain uh, people who are uh, of academic rank that I call and say, hey, man, what do you think about this passage and that passage? And we discuss the scriptures and stuff like that. I simply love it. There is nothing like the word of God. So meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Meet me in person if you can. And if you can't, meet me on YouTube Live, Facebook Live. Join me as we come tonight to, you know what? You know what we're coming for. You know it's coming, right? You know you're ready for... Bible study. I didn't get a good hit on that one. Let me try it again. For... Bible study. That's right. Bible study. I love to give it a little drum roll because I think it's a big deal. Studying the word of God is a big deal. The word of the Lord is right. It is settled forever in heaven. God said his word and healed them. And guess what? It was the word made flesh that dwelt amongst us. Jesus Christ in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the same was in the beginning with God and that word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us and that word is Jesus Christ and that word is in my heart.
So I'll see you tonight as we study the word of the Lord together. God bless.